This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group. And we saw a rally back in the dollar today, a little bit of a rebound off of what had been some weakness going into the end of 2018. The reason for that is the economic reports out of China that came out this morning, slower global economic growth, and some stock market jitters, both of those leading to the boost in the dollar today. In fact, this is the highest level we've seen in about a week. And back in 2000, for 2018, the dollar was actually up over 4% for the year, the best in three years. Now, right now we have what's going on with the dollar versus the Fed. That is really front and center what may, what may move the dollar. There's certainly uncertainty about the future of rate hikes, and that is really what hurt the dollar the last couple weeks of 2018 after the, the last rate hike, but some of the dovish rhetoric, the dovish commentary that came out about 2019 and the number of hikes that we may have. Stronger dollar today, up versus the euro and the sterling. Really, that's because of weak manufacturing data out of Spain, France, Italy, and Germany. Also, the Brexit worries, which are continuing in the euro space, keeping pressure on the euro. Now, the dollar is down slightly versus the yen because the yen actually is that safe haven that everybody goes to during times of geopolitical risk and other uncertainty. So down slightly versus the yen, but up against most other major currencies. Also, the Aussie dollar really taking it on the chin over down over more than 1% today. Most of that coming off the heels of the weak China manufacturing number. This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group.